Well, hello, hello, and happy full moon blessings to you. If you didn't catch my uh, free guided meditation from yesterday's live, I highly suggest that you do. So many people have said that it was such an incredible blessing to have that grounding um, chord from the meditation because let's face it, you know, truth is not always an easy thing to stay in when there's just so many distractions and so many doubts and um, so many different view, viewpoints out there. Hi, Melanie, nice to see you here. So I may get interrupted today. Um, I'm waiting for my daughter to come home. So I want to just get in here quickly and use the beautiful lessons of animals that come into our lives as teachers on how they can help you to stay focused. And if you are um, you have a cat or a dog or a bird or a horse, or maybe uh, be it a dragon or a snake as one of your animal teachers, um, let me know what they are in the comments below. I'd love to know. But I want to just share um, a lighter note because I don't know about you, but I've had a lot of clients today that have come in again with these recurring gut issues. Remember, this full moon is really talking about how I love the pause. Thank you, Leona. Um, about staying, is trusting your gut. So there's a lot of solar plexus issues going on. There's a lot of... Um, runny stomachs and um if you know from chinese medicine traditional chinese medicine when when you have diarrhea or you have leaky guts this really is has a consciousness on the stomach the large intestine and the lung meridians which are all about contraction and expansion can bring up a lot of grief when you're trying to um stay centered and grounded in your truth um, it feels like your bottom, your life is literally falling out of your bottom to get really graphic. Maybe that's too much information. Um, but uh, hi, Melanie. Yeah, horses, dogs, cats and parrots. How wonderful. And I'm, I'd really love you to share what lessons your animals are sharing with you because our animals come into our lives with their own soul contracts, um, their own um, desire to experience life in a new body. Uh, as do we, but they really are here as medicine to help us to keep your eye on the ball. Um, you know, they, they teach us how to stay focused. If you've ever watched a dog play catch, they're intently focused on that game and they're not distracted by other things. And dogs really exemplify discipline. We are in the year of the dog, which is all about loyalty and um, hyper focus and and being disciplined to do the work that we're here to do. And we often lack this as creative entrepreneurs. And I'll just use the example of dogs, but this superimposes with any other animal teachers that you have in your life that if you've ever watched a dog that's bored, they start to, to get destructive, to get your attention that they want some interaction from you. And we see this show up in their behaviors or maybe your your cat is a little bit anxious. I had a couple of clients today that said their their cats have stopped eating because they've moved house homes or um, they're just off their food because as we recalibrate to these new higher vibrational frequencies, we're not looking for um, attaining new levels of consciousness, but we're really looking at what is the energy frequency that we need to match in what's being asked of us to stay in our truth. So animals are rejecting subpar food, just as our own bodies, I don't know, maybe um, biggest lesson that they've taught me is to not take everything so exactly. Animals really teach us how to play. I mean, dogs are here to teach us the joy of play. And if you kind of take, take yourself away from being so serious about, um, you know, all the things that you have to do in your life and you just give yourself a break. I think that's one of the biggest lessons that I've, I've gotten today is take time out to play. So many of us have forgotten how to play. I certainly was one of those and my dogs and my cats um, and the horses are, are just such great teachers in showing you how to just be present with what is available. If the sun is shining to run like the gate has been left open. And um, if you are feeling depressed or you are feeling slightly out of sorts, um, reconnect with your purpose reconnect with what is your big why what is your greatest desire 
Uh, where are you not trusting in your own intuition to follow your own truth, to express what motivates and moves you, and to focus on what you care about? And sometimes it's in the simplest shifts, those little inch by inches, a cinch, yard by yard is hard moments of just taking a time out, giving yourself permission to play as uh, Melanie so beautifully spoke to there. Um, Leona says, Tyler will pat me with her paw and look me straight into my eyes. I love that. And I don't know, those of you that have got cats, how often does your cat come and start ripping your papers up? You know, I've got one of my cats, Snowy, that's really her job. She's here to remind me to take a pause, push pause on the world and just stretch and move. And our dogs and cats show us this all the time. Even our birds, you know, they open their arms and and do this sort of funny jig on on their um, on their perch and jingle their bells to get you to go, hey, celebrate. Remember what you have in your life from a place of active appreciation. Uh, take time to smell the ro roses and above all, back to dog, um, to stay open-minded, to have a beginner's mind or the innocence of a child, to stay present. And if you just watch your animals, they they automatically lift your mood. Dog also forces you to interact with strangers. You know, if you're kind of a highly sensitive introvert and um, you have the stranger danger, having a dog and, and going out, they, they, they really show us how to, to move our bodies, to get out of our comfort zones and go to the dog park where they can sniff each other's um, butts and... I'm not saying you need to go and sniff every crutch that you um, come up come upon, but um, it's a beautiful metaphor to look at. Um, you know, nobody is a stranger. Well, people are only strangers until you say hello. And how many amazing conversations have opened up just by walking your dog or having people open over and your cat jumps on their on their lap and. And you see the whole their whole energetic body just start to relax as they stroke your cat. So, you know, I always think dogs too, and I love that science is catching up to this. The dogs really can smell, right? Because their sense of smell is so heightened that they can smell danger miles away. So to follow your dog's cues of, of who's who's a friendly person and who's gonna lift your your vibrational frequency up. And who you need to steer clear of. Um, you, I always say you can tell a good person um, with good intention from the way that your dog greets them or doesn't greet them or the way that your cat kind of runs for shelter or comes out and wants to interact with, with people that come into your home. So um, just some messages as you sort of enter into this new truth moon um, of the, over the next couple of days is to look at where you're not staying open to become a better leader because your dog is going to teach you about that or your cat is going to teach you about that and 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 then to look at the at the contrast of that where um what do they say that curiosity kills the cat well is that true for you or is that the place where you can realign with your true north and actually remember who you came here to be and i think above all dogs and cats Specifically cats, uh, no, more dogs, right? They, they, they lift our mood into being playful. They, they teach us the value of repetition through training. If you've ever taught a, a dog a new trick, you know, and this is what I teach in, in the trust process is patience, persistence, and presence are the three Ps that get you to a place of expansion. It's through the training that you get to be faster and more concise and more focused on the tasks at hand. It's where you find your voice and your rhythm and your big why. And they're amazing at the amount of lessons that they teach us. So, um, you know, go forward today um, with this place of knowing that, that everything that you do, it comes from a place of loyalty. It comes from a place of trust, trusting in your own body wisdom, trusting in the, the wisdom of the animals that share your life with you and are there to teach you the lessons that you came here to evolve and grow into being the best, highest, greatest version of yourself. Um, and also to slow down. You know, if I, I look at my Great Dane Rover, he doesn't expend unnecessary 
energy doing things that that aren't going to get him to a place of deep satisfaction so I think that's one of the biggest lessons right now, you know, when when we're sort of coming to the end of the year and we're feeling a little bit of trepidation or anxiety, I certainly am because I would like to be further along than I am. And, and my dogs and cats teach me that the importance of rest, the importance of slowing down to going at the pace of my body, not at the pace of my mind, which often leads me to shut down and overwhelm. And then the anxiety and the restlessness and the sleepless nights come. So nurture, nurture with your animals, ground yourself with Mother Earth because it comes, it calms down your nervous system. And when you're centered and grounded and you connect to each moment as the greatest gift, you're never going to have a moment like this again in your life. Not this exactly the same. They may be similar, but we only, you know, we only get one chance at this moment and then it's gone and then another one comes. So let go of the stories where you're maybe pathologizing symptoms or you're still kind of holding on through fear of all the places where you feel like you're not quite ready yet Um, or you're feeling like you're overwhelmed with the enormity of all the tasks that lie ahead and you're always already feeling exhausted by um, the thoughts of Halloween and Thanksgiving and and Christmas and all those big, big holidays that are coming up to just reserve your energy, you know, be in a place where you know your no and you trust your yes and you give your permission, yourself permission to push pause on the world every now and again so that you can fill yourself up again through the power of play. You know, just watch your dog and they'll teach you uh, where you need to put your energy and also take, um, take time to receive the messages and the medicine from the wild ones too. I've spoken a lot about that this week with dreams of crocodiles and um, so many of my clients saying they're having very lucid dreams that are a little bit terrifying right now to just stop and actually say thank you for the opportunity to look at something that up until now might have been in a blind spot for you or sitting in the shadows or where you've been a little bit stubborn and you haven't been willing to to see, to dream in in your awake time, um, a new way of being in the world. So, um, take a page out of uh, out of dog or cat medicine or what your pets are saying, and just go. Just stop what you're doing right now, and just give them a big hug and 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 allow them to give back to you as well. Because when you can keep your eye on the ball and you can focus your attention to what is going to grow and evolve and expand you then there, there's little less room um, left to go into anxiety and depression and um, all the what ifs, worst case scenarios that might be coming up for you at this time. So stay in your truth, ground to the earth, um, give daily doses of active appreciation for the tiny things that may be showing up and expressing through you and through your animal companions. And I'll meet you there. All right, to have a beautiful rest of the day or night wherever you are, and I will meet you back tomorrow. And also, if you know somebody um, that might be benefit from joining these little daily uh, love doses of love medicine uh, from me, please like this, share it, and just trust that when we grow together in communion, this is really, again, the loyalty of dog is in the pack. It's the same as wolves or or a herd of horses they take turns or even if you look at how you know the flight path path of geese they take turns in the lead so that they can pull back and rest so being in a community that sees you and honors you and that grows alongside with you is a beautiful place to be and I think where we're really being um, invited into deepening into that we too movement is to know that you can rest now because your tribe has your back. Um, It's safe for you to push pause on the world because you, you, you have created a community that has your back. You know, the universe has your back. Trust that and speak to the truth of the parts of you that are maybe in grief or overwhelmed at the state of your life or the state that the world is in or your country is in right now. All right, Melanie, thank you. Yeah, they give us so many amazing lessons. And even even from spirit, you know, if your animals have passed, 
invite them in before you go to sleep at night because they they're still with you and remember too um that when when your animals or your loved ones depart and go into the other worlds your highest self meets them from that space um even though we're ha here having a physical experience our our higher soul states are still up there in the ethers waiting to to bring home your loved ones um, to join in there and they continue to teach us from the afterlife so ask your animals if you're if you're looking for guidance or you're, if you're needing clarity with something right now or you're um doubting where you can put your trust or how you can speak your truth ask for the ancient wisdom of the ancestors that have been before you and the animals that have been before you that have lived well and died well to to show you how to move forward and um go out there and and be amazing because the world isn't waiting for someone like you the world's waiting for you and what only you have to share with the world all right sending you lots of love <laughs> bye